All right, here we are looking at the um, third floor of a townhome complex. This wall here is a common wall shared with another unit as well as this one. So this upper floor has a very low load. You can see here that uh, right soft tells us we only need 300 CFM uh, throughout this floor to maintain indoor design conditions. This is a uh, return here that has 300 CFM. So we see the supplies in each room that tells us how much air is needed. Um, so obviously you're going to have a rough time finding a 300 CFM um, piece of machinery for this upper level. So we're going to assume that a, a ton and a half split unit is going to be used. So in order for us to modify the CFM requirements that spit out in this report, we're going to have to go in here and override the settings. So to do that, you first pull up your multi-zone tree and select the level that you're working with. In our case, it's what I've called the third level. Then we go up here to the equipment button. I'm going to choose uh, split air conditioning uh, just to illustrate this uh, in a very simple way here. Um, notice that 300 CFM is uh, the default. To override the default, we hit the F8 key. That unlocks it and we're going to go in here and type in 600 so that we will now be using 600 CFM throughout and notice that it's all updated. It's taken that extra 300 CFM and split it out um, amongst all the different rooms here. So now when we print our report it'll have um, these accurate numbers so that when we get into our uh, balancing and uh, trying to figure out what size our jumper ducts need to be and whatnot, uh, we'll be working with some real numbers uh, that we're actually going to see in the field.